Maybe later, but I would like a glass of wine. Get me a bottle and a glass in the kitchen. Here you go. Thank you. Where's your glass? Me? Don't you drink wine? Am I allowed to? Are you? Mom, you're answering a question with another question. It's not compulsory that you drink, but if you have to, I'd rather you drink here with me. Experimenting alcohol with friends and strangers can be very dangerous. So, do you take alcohol? Yes, I had a sip of champagne from a friend's glass, but I didn't like the taste. And who is this friend? Ah, that would be the boyfriend, huh? Ex-boyfriend, mom. I didn't think you were ready for that relationship, for real. Hmm. I hear you, mom. I think you should concentrate on your passion. You used to love writing. Whatever happened to that? Why do parents always say that? Say what? Concentrate on other things other than a relationship. All my friends are dating, mom. That's their business. I am your mother and I'm telling you that you're not ready for a relationship. How would you know when I'm ready? <laughs> I will know based on the responsibilities you take on. But mom, you know that I can go ahead and do what I want and you'd never mm. know, right? And you've done that before, haven't you? Don't try it again. I am a mother and a friend. You're a mother. Being a mother will always come first to you, mom. As it should. I should be able to protect you from yourself. That's the job. But you were free to live your life however you wanted when you were my age. Ugh, that was a different era. Things have changed. In this house, we tell ourselves everything. But mom, you frightened my first boyfriend and you broke up with me. I'm 20, I'm not a kid. Mm. If you're not a kid, so why were you doing hide and seek with the boy? Because of this. You scaring him away. See. If you get pregnant, without money, without a job, you will... Suffer, yes I know, jeez. Don't jeez me. Anyways, I want to review your next boyfriend. There are so many things you cannot see as a child that I as a mother can see. Mm-hmm, that's why you and dad broke up. What did you say? Nothing, ma. Are you expecting someone? Go and check who it is. Okay, ma. Nice place. <laughs> Hello, Rolly. Good afternoon. <laughs> Grandma, hmm? how is Ibadan? Ibadan is fine. See, your next holiday, you need to come to Ibadan to come and spend it with me. Of course. <laughs> you look sick too. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> you are welcome. Uh -huh. This fruit, I bought it for you and your mommy. Oh, yes. thank you, Grandma. Yes, you are welcome. <laughs> what are you doing here? Do I need an invitation to come to a home where my granddaughter and my daughter-in-law is? <laughs> Ex-daughter-in-law. I am no longer with your son. Ah, ah. Why? <laughs> How did you find this place? Ah, Rolly, you asked too many questions. Eh? See, everybody knows that you have moved out of your place. So all I have to do is to go to your former house and ask your neighbor, why in a bag? Let me get you a glass. Don't <laughs> You haven't changed at all, have you? I am not a hypocrite. I stay consistent. <sighs> See, I don't like that woman at all. Who? Sophia, your husband's a new woman. Please, your son is not my husband anymore. See, maybe you need to reconsider. His business is suffering. Eh? And that woman, all she does is just bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. But you, you used to be prudent. So, I should reconsider for his benefit. I should help him run his life like the toddler that he is. Rolly, you're a woman now. You should understand. Eh, 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 eh. I don't care about your son. I am not in love with your son. I'm no longer with your son. I am running my own life, please. But you used to love him. That was a long time ago. Why are you really here? See. I came to Lagos to see all the people that I love. Is that not enough for me to knock at you? And let me tell you something, Rolly. You can divorce Patrick, eh? 
but you cannot divorce him and me from our daughter. Really? Yes. Daughter? Go and ask Patrick the last time he brought money or paid for Zera's school fees or bought anything of value for our daughter. Go and ask him. But I told you that he's going through some stuffs. We all go through stuff, but we do not neglect our responsibility, especially when it has to do with children. Children? You call Zera children? You are now already married at her age. So she's no more a baby. So I should go and sell her off to a man or what? Ah, Broly. Eh? You need to be calming down. See, you are too stuck up. You are too uptight. Ah, ah. You're a woman. You need a man. How do you even cope at night? Mm -mm -mm. I have my life figured out. As you can see, I have my own apartment. I have a job. I make my own money. I can go on vacation. I can date any man I like. But you want to reduce my value to the ones I will feel at night with a man. It's okay. You win. Tell Patrick to stop coming here and prancing around like he's daddy of the year. I get to do the hard job of being a parent. You're a strong woman. I am not a strong woman. Oh, me, I am very hungry. And I need to go and get something to eat. <clears throat> what is wrong with this woman? Fine, you. Ah, ah, what happened to soup like hoha, okro, and uh, fisherman soup? Are you people e e eating noodles? Yeah, Ibadan. Please start going. I'm not going. I am hungry and I want to eat and I have money. See, take. Eh? Please, Emmy had money to eat. Emmy could correct vegetable soup. Eh? <laughs> Ask yourself. Let me even call him Patrick. Why would you do that? <laughs> because I haven't seen him for the past six months. Then go to his house and eat lunch. Yeah, but don't. I cannot go to that house. So until that woman leaves, I cannot go to mm. that house. Hey, mom. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just about to leave the house. <laughs> I'm in town. I'm in Lagos. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I come pick you up from the park? Ah, I'm at uh, Ronnie's new place. <laughs> and she's preparing lunch. Come over for lunch. Huh? <laughs> I say come for lunch. She's preparing correct special delicacy for me. <laughs> <laughs> but, mom. Are you? Prepare the table for your family. Yeah? Okay, Grandma. <laughs> your grandmother is a terrorist. <laughs> hmm. Rolly, I missed your food. <laughs> Patrick is delicious, are we? I know we're always cooking more. Haven't you missed it? Eh? I know you have not been eating well. Why am I here, Mom? Why did you ask me to lunch like I needed food like some starving man? Are you not a starving man? Eh? You left your wife and your daughter and run into the hands of a strange woman. For the umpteen time, Mom, our separation was mutual. We both agreed to end this, not me. Then you're a man. You should have stand your ground and keep your family together and make them one. Instead of you strutting into the hands of Delilah. Sophia is not... Patrick. Me. You know what, Mom? I, I came here out of respect. But now I really need to leave. You know how I feel about wasted food. Um, let me pick it up. You sit down there! Patrick. You are my son. <laughs> you cannot walk out of I carried you for nine years. Oh my God. Mom, I love you. I'm going to go to my house now. I will tell my woman that you're in town and we will prepare something for you to eat and a place to sleep, okay? This is not my home. You can't come looking for me here. Patrick! 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 Um, let me try. <laughs>
Patrick lebt. Patrick rockt aus auf mich. Patrick me. It's Juju. It's obvious that it is Juju. Please stop. That Sophia woman has used Juju. Please stop it, Yaibadon. Stop it. What you did was wrong. You shouldn't make him feel so worthless. Patrick is a good man. He's kind and patient and and considerate. He has a right ego for his size. He's not under any spell and you know it. This is not entirely his fault. Just because we can't be together doesn't mean we are monsters. <laughs>